I'm super excited to share some of the progress that uh, we've made on the course. Um, as far as I know, this is the only course that will take you end to end from everywhere from installing the Python Quant stack all the way through to submitting trades uh, online. So what I want to show you today is a bit of a prototype that, that we have. Um, I'm just cleaning up the code, but essentially we go from uh, creating a scanner to identify a list of equities uh, to, to trade. And then we use quantitative portfolio construction to build a uh, volatility targeted portfolio. And then from there, we calculate the optimal weights based on our portfolio value. And we automate automatically uh, send those trades to my trading platform that you're seeing. Uh, so this is my interactive broker screen. This is my demo account because uh, I haven't done all the testing. So I don't want to submit anything, uh, any orders that uh, to my live account, but <clears throat> eventually you will have the exact same experience uh, by the time you get through the end of the course. So I just want to show you where we're at so far. Um, so let me kind of activate my quant stack. Uh, so we built the Python quant stack, uh, which is part of the course. You'll you'll learn how to install everything that you need to do exactly what I'm about to show you, including the APIs, uh, the data acquisition libraries, etc. So I'm just going to enter my Python console here, and I'm uh, going to do a bunch of copying and pasting um, to to get to the point. Uh, so let's see this. So what we're doing here is we're using the OpenBB uh, SDK to get uh, to use the screener uh, for new highs. Uh, and then from there, we are going to screen where price is greater than $15 and the country is the US, um, grab the tickers, download the data um, for each of those tickers using the OpenBB terminal. So this is all for free. Um, calculate the returns on all of the stocks in those portfolios, uh, excuse me, in those in those stocks, and then ultimately uh, construct this uh, portfolio, this uh, volatility targeted portfolio, otherwise known as uh, risk, risk parity. So what you're seeing right now is OpenBB is going out and scanning. Um, and it pulls the scanner from Finviz, which is a very popular uh, scanner. Uh, what you're seeing now is that there's some data that's not available. Uh, I just picked some random dates here. So obviously when you when you go through this process, you will pick um, uh, securities that are interesting to you. Um, in, in my case, I'm just completely picking some some random tickers. Uh, so it's in, in many cases, some of these won't have won't have data. Uh, but to create the portfolio itself, we need the return data, and for returns, we need the daily prices. And that's what we are getting now. So let me move this all the way over here. Um, so next, what we're going to do is use Risk Folio Lib. So Risk Folio is like, I like to call it a master's degree <laughs> in, a, in a Python library um, because it's, it's built for ease of use, but it's for uh, quantitative portfolio construction. And usually what that comes down to is optimization problems. Uh, convex and concave optimization problems that are um, highly constrained and, and really hard to do, very mathematically intense. Uh, but the author of this library has wrapped all up in, in a very nice library. So this is done. And what we're going to see here is a data frame. And each stock, uh, each, excuse me, each column, 119 columns is a different stock. And each row is a return. So we've got quite a few uh, securities here. So let's see if we can get this done. Um, what I'm going to do now is create the risk weights. Uh, so what you're seeing now is using risk folio lib to create this constrained uh, portfolio. This is the most basic example that we can do, but what you're going to see is RPC. These are weights. So these are weights that we need to trade of each stock. So you see 119 rows. Uh, that corresponds to the 119 columns. Uh, this is the weights of the portfolio, the, the volatility targeted portfolio that we want to create, uh, which is pretty cool. So we're going to just assume a $10,000 portfolio. Uh, and then essentially what we're going to do is compute the number of shares that we want to trade. So if we say WRPC, uh, and if we just look at the shares, ultimately what you see is a volume of shares. Now what we're going to do is actually iterate through this and trade them, submit the orders into our uh, trading system here. Uh, so there's a lot of wrapper code that you need for interactive brokers. So I'm going to dump it all in the screen. 
Um, and again, in the course, this all gets walked, you know, you walk through it uh, line by line. Um, and this is all this is, is doing is connecting to interactive brokers to the API. Um, I've got a function here that creates a so-called contract. Everything in interactive brokers is a contract. And then a method here to submit an order, uh, which we'll actually use to uh, establish the trades. Uh, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to IB. And what I want to show you here is up here in the data. You can see that I'm now connected to the Interactive Brokers platform via API. You can see that because it says API connections listening on 7497 uh, peer IP port. So this is my local port. This is my client ID. And you can see that here. So app connect 127.001, 7497.123. Uh, so the point here is that my connection to Interactive Brokers is accepted. Um, I now have access to everything that Interactive Brokers has to offer, including live market data, time and sales, tick. You'll learn all about that in, in the course. All I'm going to show you here now is how to submit orders. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, and just before I do, I need to make sure that I'm connected. So I am connected. You can see that here. And then finally, I'm going to iterate through each one of those symbols and submit the order. So here in the bottom left corner, is my order screen. So what you're going to see is all of a sudden a bunch of stuff lighting up in the bottom left. Uh, let me go to my portfolio. So I've just got a couple things here in my portfolio. Um, but what we're going to see quickly is a whole bunch of orders being submitted. So let's do that. I'm going to hit enter, hit OK, and boom. So you're seeing all of this stuff being filled. Let me make this a little bigger for you guys. So you can see all these orders. So there's 119 orders. And you can see on the left side here, Interactive Brokers is giving me updates on the status. So you know, I might submit an order for you know, 50 shares of an illiquid stock. I might get partially filled. So you can kind of see here on the right side where there's zero, seven, seven is the number of shares I wanted, but I, I haven't gotten filled yet. So these are actually working orders, even though they're, it's crazy, even though they're market orders, uh, this could be, a, uh, well, these are all NASDAQ. Um, so it could just, it could just be that there's no liquidity in these names, but you see these are all filled. So you can see uh, where that's grayed out. Um, this is my fill price. So pretty cool. Um, this is what we are working on, and the idea is to take you from ground zero all the way to the point where you can automatically submit trades, manage risk, manage your account using Python in Interactive Brokers, um, all the way from start to finish. So we're getting there. Super excited to have you on board. It's going to be awesome. I uh, can't wait to see you soon. Bye.